Aloha ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls with yours truly. We're in the Undead Burg, and I passed by this fog door earlier, and the reason why is that this is the only fog door of this area. That's right. Um, this is technically still part of the Undead Burg, which is above us, and there we actually went through a few um, fog doors, one of them leading to the Taurus Demon, so in a sense this area actually has two bosses, but only half the area can be accessed early game, and then the other half can be accessed later. Um, for those of you who have been watching my series, you'll notice that I switched off out of my antiquated set, um, and switched over onto the Balder set, as, along with the uh, Leather Gauntlets, which was weird because I thought I chose the Night Gauntlets. Um, here, basically, what I opted for was as much physical defense as I could, um, which actually the Elite Night Gauntlets would be a lot better, and speaking of which... The Elite Knight Armor is actually going to be better yet again. I guess I really should have looked into this before going into this, but oh well, whatever. Alright, so we're now wearing the Elite Knight set. Actually, you know what? We'll just wear the whole Elite Knight set for this battle. That'll be a nice little twist of what's going on. Um, here, I am going to give myself a small advantage. Um, you'll notice that I'm using my Uchi Katana. Um, it is upgraded. I would recommend just whatever your best damaging item is that does not give up a use of a shield. Um, I do recommend a 100% shield for this, and if you're willing to go through all the trouble that I went through to uh, rescue Duskavula Sil, Hidden Body will also help you out greatly in this fight. So without further ado... Let's get this started. So the moment you walk in, you're going to want to have your shield up. This boss is going to immediately charge you and start swinging. Um, so that's why we wanted the 100% uh, block shield. Ow. And he has two dogs here in the room with him, which is probably the only thing you really have to fear from him. Along with that jumping attack. That jumping attack may or may not do a lot of damage. Um, for anybody that was not noticing a little nuance that I was doing there, is that I'm walking away and holding up my shield at the appropriate times to block. But here's the easy way of fighting him, and I won't do the whole fight this way. But lure him up onto this ledge, and then start running into him, basically. And eventually what he should do is that he'll fall off and you can get a nice simple plunging attack off on him although it's not as powerful as what you get off on the uh, Taurus Demon that we already killed but then quite literally you can wash, rinse, and repeat this and then even better, this gives you some safety if you need to heal um, although if you have physical armor this boss should not be too challenging for you um, if you do not have a good physical armor set or if you did not go get the Elite Knight set this battle could be a little bit more challenging. Um, he has a very predictable move set, and obviously he's dual wielding, so you'll let him swing twice and just keep blocking and try to. Oops, that takes some extra damage. You'll just want to stay behind him as much as you can, and eventually you can proc his jumping attack, which is that. And I feel like he telegraphs it quite well, but some other players do not feel that way. There, I just tanked a two-handed attack for no reason. So here you can see, even though I consider this a very easy boss with my armor set, he can still do a bit of damage to you, but as long as you can block him, he's actually not all that challenging. And there we get the key to the depths. And a humanity and a homeward bone for our troubles. Now, Key to the Depths is the next area that we should be going to. However, that's actually going to take me a while to traverse the depths to fully do a video for that. I definitely don't want to start that in this video. Um, I do want the depths to be their own select video. Um, so with that being said, I'm actually going to go do a secret area of the game that's completely optional to do. Not required, and I would actually encourage people to do it later, probably in their, like somewhere between levels 30 to 50, and right now I'm 27. And I've been buying gear as well. So, yeah. But if you're wondering where the depths are, use key to the depths. That is where the depths will be. 
But we're not going to go there yet. I am going to go show off a secret world, because it's actually a pretty short world, and I can cram most of it into this video. So, first things first, let's get back into our dusk set. That way I'm a little bit easier on the eyes. There we go. She doesn't seem to even care. But now that we have 11,000 souls, we are going to go level up, reach, uh, refresh on our Estus flasks, and we're going to go do a secret little world. Now, I have shown off the location of this secret world before, but I will be showing it off in this video as well for anybody who missed it. And we've already returned to Firelink Shrine, so nice little shortcut. Um, and the other reason I'm holding off on the depths is that the depths leads to somewhere else. Whoops. Did not mean to kill him that way, but... Now, if you're fighting on stairs, your jumping R2 attack is also going to be your best friend. Is because most jumping R2s, specifically with the swords, are actually plunging attacks. So, nice helpful thing, and goodbye, off you go. Barely didn't kick him off far enough. But since we're about to hit a bonfire, I have no problems healing, no problems taking a bit of damage. Now, if you like aesthetic purposes in this game over, um, you know, the actual, like, armor types, like, let's say you don't feel like you're taking a lot of damage, or you're going for, like, a vitality build where you're just having massive amounts of health, and that way you can keep moving fast, um, a little trade-off you can do is, number one, is wear that wolf ring that I'm currently wearing. Um, another thing that you could do as well is equip certain pieces that don't matter, such as your gloves. Very few people ever notice the gloves. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking for whichever set of gloves has the highest amount of poise. In that case, it's actually these night gloves. So I'm going to switch those on, and as you can see... Whoop, as you can see, it kind of meshes with my outfit, but you don't really notice it. It's not like you're focusing on your arms, and my one arm is covered up by a shield. So you can get away with giving away certain portions of what you're wearing um, to other things. And you might look a little silly sometimes mixing matching sets, but hey, sometimes that's what you need. So we will rest up here. Um, again, we're going to attune magic, and I'm sorry to be doing this on screen. I will try to do it off screen, or maybe I'll just pause your guys' video and then just do this real fast off screen. But it's not too terrible of a wait, so thank you. Um, that's not going to help me at all in the next area. I'll use Hidden Weapon in the next area. Not that that helps me out at all, but whatever. Um, and next we're also going to level up. Um, leveling up, I said I wanted 20 strength on this character, so we're extremely close. But just not enough. We are still 2,000 some, 3,000 some souls short. So, oh well, too bad, so sad. What does this gentleman have to say? Did you see her? That virtuous little maiden, complete with followers in tow? They're probably going straight to pillage graves. I've heard enough about the lady for a lifetime. Oh, I wonder what he's talking about. Have you been to the ruins of New Londo below? Just head down the stairs and take the lift. It's certainly worth a visit. It was once an undead city. You may find a clue or two. Unless the ghosts find you first. <laughs> so for those of you keeping up with my series, and if you've watched my last video, I should you where to get a transient curse from a vendor. Well, now we know where that, that's used for. So if we go down the stairs here, there's actually another set of stairs that leads to an elevator that will take you down to the New London Ruins. Um, in my personal playthrough, I will not be showing that off for a great deal of time. Um, that area is kind of annoying to go to, so... Or, pardon me, it's not annoying to go through, I'm just underleveled for it, and even though I could do it, I'd rather not. Not this early in the game. How did that nutty sorcerer make it back? Unexpected. 
But I suppose stranger things have happened. How did that raggedy old charm end up? You know, the one who idolized some godmother of pyromancy. He left for Blighttown, but never came back. Whereas most flee from sickness, he dives right in. Well, nothing will harm him once he goes hollow. Hmm? What now? I'm not up for chatting. <laughs> Leave me alone. After all the chatting that he does. Alright, so first things first. Well, actually, it's kind of out of order. Second things first, I guess. Is Greg's of Vinheim is now located here. Oh, hello. I regret meeting you under such compromising circumstances. At least we've both made it back unscathed. Incidentally, would you care to learn any sorceries? You're clearly talented, and besides, I owe you. Of course, we will require some materials, but I'm happy to teach you some elementary spells. Are you interested? Splendid. Very well. I am pleased to have a chance to give something back. Well then, let's get started straight away. Um, what I will do for this, um, this character is not going to be a spellcaster, so I'm not going to bother buying anything off of him. Um, what I will do, though, is I do have another file that is a spellcaster. Um, I will probably jump on that character and then show off these spells um, upon request. Um, it's a, just this typical mage build. You know, these are three ranged attacks. Here's your basic for killing off, you know, the dreglings of whatever area you're going through. Heavy soul arrow for killing the balder knights of an area you're going through, and Great Soul Arrow is your heavy damage dealer that he gives you early game. Um, he does give you Fall Control, he does give you Oral Decoy, he gives you a Weapon Enchantment, which... Whoops, that's not a Weapon Enchantment. I thought he gives you a Weapon Enchantment, he doesn't? Yeah, yeah, it's, yes he does, it's right there. Jeez, but it's 3,000, so I might go farm up for that off-screen and start using that on bosses. Um, just because it makes things a lot easier. Otherwise, I can use those um, pine resins that I bought. Um, he also will teach you Oral Decoy, which I've yet to use in this game, so I'll play around with that. Um, and then Magic Shield, which is just a shield buff, which is very nice if you're not using a... Um, if you're using certain types of shields, or if you just find that certain bosses are kicking your butt, Magic Shield can be great. He also sells you the Sorcerer's Catalyst, although you should have picked one up already from right next to where we found him. And last but not least, he sells you a Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring and a Lingering Dragon Crest Ring, which boosts your damage by 20% and boosts the length of a spell by 20%. Have you heard of Big Hat Logan? Master Logan is a great sorcerer and my teacher. Both of us came to this land as undead. But one day, he departed, leaving only a note. I suppose he wished to keep me out of harm's way. But where does that leave me? I have dedicated myself to sorcery. But Master Logan could find no use for me. Ah, uh, yes. The note that Master Logan left. It only said he would travel to Anolondo by way of Sen's fortress. I can only guess that he seeks the regal archives. For Master Logan is a tireless pursuer of wisdom. Wisdom trumps all. Everything else is hogwash. When the curse turned him undead, I'm certain that he only felt it was the perfect chance to visit this land. I only wish that I had his courage. Goodbye then. Do stay safe. Alright, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of off-screen um, just item management. I'm going to put away a bunch of things I don't plan to use. And then next video I will actually show off the secret level because I spent too much time talking. And I actually forgot there's one last group of people I can talk to. We'll come up here to visit Petrus and... Where did all these people come from? Oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. Now, he, this, you can still have a chance to buy miracles from him, even though he says he's departing soon. Oh, hello. Miracles, I presume? Yes, I know. So, if you haven't bought any miracles from him or a talisman, here is a good chance for you to talk to him. Rhea is the youngest daughter of the good house of Thurland. Those young knights are her old schoolmates. 
but I'm not sure what to make of them. I'm afraid they may be a bad influence. Come again. The effectiveness of the teachings depend upon your faith. So let's talk to the schoolmates. What? Alright, so he's chanting something, and look at that axe! Look at that thing! That thing's bigger than my head! Um, why doesn't it let me talk to him? Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that! You might scare her off for good. Now, I actually forget. I could have sworn that I changed into an outfit. Do I still have it on me? I don't. I'm gonna go test something out. I'll be right back. And I just uh, did some quick item uh, inventory management. I switched over to the full chainmail set, so I'm gonna try talking to him again. Oh, you again. What business have you? I don't suppose we can help, though. We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite a chore, but I'm stuck with her, and Nico too. I can't very well abandon them now. So this one's Nico. <laughs> Nico the mumbler. Oh, it's you. We're to the cat. Oh crap, he actually said something different. Crap. Whoops. Oh, it's you. We're to leave momentarily. The catacombs aren't exactly my idea of a good time, but what can one do? I do hope we meet again. Rarely or not. I think that's like praise the night. No, that's not praise the night. I don't know what rario means. It's definitely Latin, but Vokes obviously means night, so. Now, here you can talk to Rhea as well, and the chainmail didn't seem to help at all, so that was just a waste of time. You are undead as well? Then we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission, and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Or are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. Did I not explain the urgency of our task? So yeah, they're basically going to ignore you, and there is a way to proc them to um, actually leave this area. Now, I was told it's actually the secret mission that I'm about to do in the next video. However, to my knowledge, that is not true. I think it's actually a different event. Um, I don't think it's going to this secret area that I'm about to go to. I truthfully believe that it is actually when you go clear out the first boss. Alright, that looks silly. I was hoping that was going to look a little bit decent, but, you know, um, to mask her face. The other thing I did was... <laughs> makes no sense at all. No sense at all. Um... But yes, I believe it's when you go uh, clear out the graveyard of its first boss. Now, obviously, I danced around in the graveyard for a little bit, but we never got to a fog gate. So there's a lot more. So tune in next time. I'm actually going to go back and hide at the... Um, not hide. I'm going to go back and rest at the bonfire. That way, anybody who's trying to do the secret world knows where to come from. So thank you so much for watching, and tune in next time to Dark Souls with yours truly, Delicate Blood. Ta-ta.